Welcome to Chastity. My name is Meg Killingsworth and I'm the Family Engagement Coordinator at our school. I get to work with families and help them navigate Chastity. This slideshow is all about our school and it'll help you get to know the T, which is our nickname, in 2020. First off, we have a lot of staff members that you'll want to know. Mr. Boyd is our kindergarten first and second grade assistant principal. Dr. Tennis is our principal. And Miss Abby Gaines is the third, fourth, and fifth grade assistant principal. I introduced myself. I'm Meg Killingsworth, and there in the middle is a picture of me. We also have Nurse Janet, who takes care of all our sicknesses and boo boos. Miss Donna is our receptionist in the front office. Ms. Ansley is our bookkeeper and secretary, and Ms. Angela is our data clerk and helps with new student registration. Chastity is very rich in history, and we often remind our community that we've been serving the community since 1931. Back in 1931, we had some businessmen who were tired of sending their own children to Hall County for schooling. So they came together and built the first school ever. Now looking at our school today, not any part of it is really from 1931. It's all been remodeled or rebuilt or added on to. But we're rich in history with a lot of folks from our community having gone to Chesity and now sending their children and even grandchildren to our school. Because our school is one of the oldest in the districts, we spend a lot of our funding on maintaining our facilities. So whether it's painting the student restrooms to be kid friendly and exciting or updating our playground equipment to keep children wanting to come to school and excited about recess, we keep our building very updated with fresh paint and remodeling each year. We pride ourselves on our school's communication, and there are many ways that we'll communicate with our families. First off is our Facebook page. So if you're on Facebook, like us at Chestity Elementary, um, you can also get our Facebook posts though by going to our main website and scrolling to the bottom. At the bottom of our website, there's a Facebook button, and if you click that, you can see what we post. With that, we have a weekly Facebook Friday video that we put out to inform families what's going on school-wide. We do a lot of posts on Facebook throughout the week sharing information. Looking at our Messenger, if you've created a parent portal account, then you'll um, have that set where you can receive emails and texts based on what you would like to receive. Um, if you like text better, you can get it sent to text. If you like emails better, you can get it sent to email. If you like both, you can have all our school's messages sent to both. So you'll set that up in your parent portal, and as things come up, we will send out messengers to keep you informed. We have a monthly school newsletter where we'll include dates and all important information. Our grade levels each have a weekly newsletter that they send out with updates. And we have a common gold folder where papers, notes, and money can travel back and forth within the gold folder so that teachers are able to find things easily each day. We use PBIS or Positive Behavioral Interventions and Support at our school. Our three main rules are called the Chastity Way. Be respectful, be responsible, be a problem solver. And students, work very hard to follow those rules and to show the chastity way. They also work hard to earn Bravo Bucks. Bravo Bucks are little tickets that they earn when they are doing the right thing. And we like to focus on the positives and the expected behaviors. Students can save up their Bravo Bucks and go to our school store where they can buy trinkets or they can save for big items or they can buy experiences. So whether it's eating lunch with the principal 
or eating lunch with a classmate or having extra recess or go into our morning news. There's lots of different experiences that they can purchase with their Bravo books. We have a raffle drawing right before winter break and right before the end of the year every year where students can save up Bravo Bucks and buy um, tickets to enter the drawing, and then they can win something very, very special. So we really encourage positive behavior and focus on the positives at SSC. We have a lot of different opportunities for student leadership in our school. These students are helpers or eye changers in our school, and we have different groups. Um, that are our eye changers. So the students that lead our special guests are called ambassadors and they'll walk them through the hallway, show them tours, or greet them for special programs. We also have media center helpers, peer helpers in our classroom, office helpers. We have hallway patrols to help with hallway safety. So those are our eye changers, and eye changers are available to fourth and fifth grade students who are interested. They'll complete an application and have two adults sign off that they would do a great job at their student leadership role, and then they'll submit their application. Student leadership is really important to us at Chestity. We have an after school program called Care for Kids, and our director is Deb Mason. This program is provided to students who have working parents, and they can stay each day after school from dismissal until the evening time when parents can pick them up. We have a lot of information on our website with prices and registration paperwork that you could fill out if you're interested. Testa T is an award-winning school, and we've earned many rewards throughout the past several years. But I'd say that the most important award to us was back in 2015 when we received the Georgia Family Friendly Partnership School Award because it showed how much we value our families and partnering with them. So I think when you step through our doors, you'll see that there's just a feeling where you feel the sense of community and the sense of family. And we're very proud of all of our awards, but that one definitely has taken the cake. Our foundation of academics is called our learner profile, and it's our goal in Forsyth County to grow students to be leaders for success so that by the time our students leave Forsyth County and graduate from high school, they have these characteristics because it's not just academics that will make someone a leader and ready for the real world, but it's learning those personal characteristics and attributes that are listed here. In fourth and fifth grade, we have partner classes and our teachers team up so that one teacher will teach language arts and social studies and the other teacher will teach math and science. The students will rotate through both teachers throughout their day. And the idea is that this will help prepare for middle school when there are many different teachers throughout a student's day. Our teams all work very collaboratively and fourth and fifth grade students and teachers are super excited to partner together to teach the fourth and fifth grade students. We have Eagle time each day, Tuesday through Friday, where students can get extra support in a needed academic area. Some students may need some remediation, while other students may need a challenge. So during this time of the day, students will go different places throughout um, the building to get some extra support on the skill that they need. It's very individualized and very differentiated, and it's just one little part of the day to get some extra help or extra enrichment in an area. We follow the seven mindsets at Chestity, which include 100% accountable, passion first, everything is possible, attitude of gratitude, the time is now, live to give, 
and we are connected. Each month, we have a different mindset that we study and focus on. And each month, each teacher picks out two students from the class that really exhibit that month's mindset. During the month, we have a special ceremony to recognize these students, and it's called our High Flyer Ceremony. So parents or families will be invited in for a 30-minute ceremony to celebrate these students who are really showing that mindset. We also have buddy classes where our younger grade levels partner with an older grade level to read and to do special projects throughout their year. That's called their buddy class. You will see that Chastity is full of fun. We have lots of dress up days and lots of great things going on at the tea. Here's some more fun. and even more fun. Costumes are not unusual around our school. Neither are parent volunteers and families being welcomed in. We also have very many special assemblies and our Pathways teachers, which are our audio visual, PE, science, music, media special, and art teachers come together to put on many of our assemblies. These are always really fun days for our students. We have enrichment clubs offered on Wednesdays each quarter for four weeks. And a menu goes out with different options. These in the past have included fun fitness, kids in the kitchen, Minecraft, building with Legos, art, crafts, and all sorts of other choices. Students can stay after school from 2.15 until four o'clock for these and have lots of fun with their friends. We also have offered other various clubs that students can join, whether it's Girls on the Run for third, fourth, and fifth grade girls, or fitness club in the mornings after arriving to school for several grade levels, or staying after school one day a month for clubs like our Critters Club, which learns about animals, or a Live to Give Club that gives back. We even have a recycling club that helps us um, with our recycling and taking care of our earth. Science Olympiad and Robotics are also offered to students as they get older and take place after school or even on some weekends for competitions. And Ms. Roper offers chorus to our fourth and fifth grade students who would like to join and practice on Tuesdays and Thursdays to perform throughout the year. Families and partnerships are really important to us at Chester T. Families have lots of different ways to get connected and to get involved at our school. And we offer lots of events and evenings, both to help with academics, but also to come to the school and have fun. Family members are invited every day for lunch. We have a special place on our stage with extra tables so that you have a little bit more room and you can have a nice conversation. We love having families come to visit. We also offer academic parent teacher teams or APTT three times throughout the year. Families are invited into the classroom to find out how their child is doing on a skill and to receive tools to practice that specific skill at home. We have our parent teacher individual conferences in October. The APTT is three additional times to come in and get more information about your child. And then there is an optional conference in March. So you'll be provided with lots and lots of times that you can come in and find out how your child is doing. We have a very supportive PTO at Chester T. Our board members work really hard to put together fundraisers to help raise money for our school and also very fun events both for students and their families. 
very easy to get involved with our PTO and there'll be lots of opportunities throughout the year for that. We also have a watchdog dad program where our fellows in the communities commit to one day a year coming to the school to volunteer. They'll visit the car line and help students get out of the car, be on the school news with their child, and then visit many classrooms in each grade level to help students. The teacher will have an activity, a book to read, or a game to play to help students in need. We'll also visit the lunchroom and do some lunch duty and have lunch with their child. This is a great way to get involved and our students really gravitate to our male role models. Don't worry ladies, we've got lots of ways for you to get involved too. Just one example is our Champs and Grand Champs program where our ladies and our grandmas can come in and work with kids and make a really big difference by being a connection, but also helping with some academics. Volunteering is a great way to show parent leadership. We also have Parent Advisory Council, the local school council, joining the PTO, being a room parent, and like I said, champs and watchdogs. So there are many parent leadership opportunities and I'm a great resource with how to get connected to each one as you have questions. Here's our menu for how you can get connected at Chastity. There's lots of different opportunities. So you would think about what your interest is and then find that on here and how you could best get connected. Some people work and are able to come to the school consistently. Another great way to help us out is by donating. Um, we're always looking for books that you no longer are reading, um, clothing for our clothing closet, food for our blessings in a backpack, um, and extra funding for things like field trips when students can't afford to go. So there's lots of ways to get connected at our school. Calling all car riders, our morning drop-off starts at 710 and will end at 740. Ideally, we'd like to see all students in their classroom when the tardy bell rings at 740. Pickup will begin around 210 and will end around 240 in the afternoon. You can expect heavy traffic the first two weeks of school as we are problem solving and helping speed up everything and as people adjust their schedules and decide whether or not they want to keep car ride, car rider going or decide to put their child on the bus. We call for our car riders and bus riders in the afternoon and teachers deliver these children to the designated areas. As teachers walk their class away, they actually say goodbye with a handshake, hug, or high five before the child leaves for the bus. You can expect mail this summer. Our postcards will go out to welcome students back and give all of our open house information. Our open house will be on Tuesday, August 4th. That's where you can come and see the classroom and meet your teacher. Our times will be shared on that postcard. You'll also stop by the cafeteria to get a car rider tag um, and any information that you may need about after school care, lunchroom, volunteer sign up, and many, many more things. And then our very first day of school for next year is going to be Thursday, August 6th. So mark your calendars now for these two important dates. Here are some other links that we felt that you might need. So we will PDF this slideshow so that way you'll have access to these different links without having to search for them on our website. As you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help you and get to know you. And if I don't know the answer to the question, I will find the staff member who does and put you in touch with them. We thank you so much for joining us for this slideshow to get to know Chastity, and we're looking forward to getting to know you next year. Take care, everybody.